Hi, I'm Scott. And I'm Oscar. And together we are the Ginfluencers UK. The gin we're trying today is from the Cambridge Distillery and it's anti-gin, which is why I've got loads of ants. There you go, yeah, look no, at that. Loads of ants. Anti-gin is the world's first insect-based gin. This gin is a collaboration with a Nordic food lab, pioneers in Nordic cuisine. They wanted to reinvent the gin experience for those bold enough to try it. You've got to be quite bold. So what's in it? Well, wood ants to be exact, 62 of them. <laughs> Juniper, nettle and alexander seeds, each botanical is distilled individually to preserve its purity and then it is blended with the essence of those poor 62 wood ants. We've got some of them here. Why would they use ants? Well, ants contain formic acid, which I'm told is quite citrusy. In fact, the Latin name for these ants is Formica rufa. Did you know an ant farm is called a formicarium and a formicary is another name for an ant's nest? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Our bottle came with this little bottle here of ant distillate, which is basically ants in alcohol. <laughs> Today I'll be making a gin and tonic using premium tonic water and we'll be garnishing with some of this distillate. Now, the recommended serve is with nettle cordial and soda water. So we're gonna give that a go as well. Where, Why not? Where'd you get nettle cordial? Well, I had to travel quite far and wide today. So I had to go all the way to, where did I go Clapham. to? Clapham, Clapham North. Clapham North, from Islington to Clapham North to find this cordial. But true, true to our, our kind of, like, our vision for, for being perfect as we try to be. Yeah, we've got perfect. to do it. Right, yeah. Anyway, right there, let's take some of these ants off. Now I have been waiting, so we've had this bottle for ages. We've had it for ages, yeah, and we've been wanting to try it and you know, people have been asking when they're coming around, when are you doing this one? I thought, right, okay, well, let's let's get it done. I think actually they've changed the packaging now slightly. Oh, I hate it when they do that. I, I hate it when they do that, because it means we have to get a new that one. That means we have to well. buy yeah. another bottle. Can you take that? I'll get rid of it. It's very sticky. sticky. Yeah. Very, very sticky. Oh, oh. There we go. Oh. Now, from what I understand, the Nordic Food Lab actually um, are trying to create uh, new food products and drinks around insects. To be more sustainable. Yeah, to be more yeah. sustainable. So, uh, well done to them. And let's see. What, we don't know if it's well done yet. Yeah, let's see. All right, let's give it a go. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's interesting. That is really not what I expected it to, to taste like. It is a bit... There's, there's a lot of freshness in there. Yeah. It is a bit woody. I don't know if, if I've got that because of the wood ants. They shouldn't taste of wood. But it is a bit, it's a bit earthy. I get what you're saying now. Um, as, yeah, hold on, I need, I need some more. It reminds me of, you know when you put down bark chippings? Yeah. Bark chippings in the garden. But also a, a, bit, a little bit like a pencil. If you licked a pencil end, that's really, that's, and I did, I did. There you go. That explains it. There was lead in pencils. What can you do? That's right. That explains a lot. The lead in pencils. There you when go. you were really bored in school, you used to lick the end. Uh, did you? Yeah, I did. Oh no, I just, I just got on with my work. Um, yeah, right. It's really refreshing. It actually is totally not what I thought it'd be like. It's really pleasant. Yeah. It's got a really, so that there's a lot of heat that comes off it straight away, right? But that goes very, very, very quickly. quickly. And then this, this freshness comes through. That, oh, oh. Yeah, it's, no, no, as, 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 as you're saying that, it's coming, it's very green. Yes. So I've got the woodiness, yeah. but now I'm getting kind of but, very also, green. Also, now it's a bit like a, a, a rain, a, I'm not like Ruby cloudy. <laughs> Is it green? Is it green? It's green. You can tell Fifth, uh, Fifth Element was on TV recently. Um, no, I know what you mean. It's it's citrusy, light citrusy. It's an unusual citrusy flavour. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's fresh green zingy with elements of kind of zingy, back to zingy. barkiness. Not dog barky, but kind of tree barky. Um, yeah, I yeah. like this. Okay, let's see what it's like in a gin and tonic. Yeah, and then obviously we did say that we would do the um, perfect serve as well. We we'll, we we'll crack on with gin and tonic first. Indeed. <laughs> Cheers. Before we drink Cheers. it, I did leave something off when we do our normal spiel. 
So I left off the size of the bottle, which is a 70, the ABV, which is 42, and I left off the price. Ooh. Now the price is... Go on. £220. So... <laughs> <laughs> we haven't garnished, we're going to garnish, so we're going to use some of the distillate as a garnish. I, I just didn't want the garnish to kind of taint any of the flavour, because I want, for £220 I want to taste this. So, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Let's give it a go. It smells, it actually smells so much more refreshing. It's actually very nice. Yeah, I really like that. It's actually very, very nice. Oh, it's quite floral. Yeah, strange. It's, it's real sweetness of floral, so it's citrusy, but then it's actually quite sweet and floral. And we only used, we used one bottle of tonic between this. We had a large wow. measure, so we had a large measure of gin, and we used a, a 20, <sighs> uh, a 200 um, bottle between us. The smell's lovely. It, it, it's, the smell smell smells fresh. Mm. It smells like, like like a rainy day, but not when it's cleared everything away. But it's not not, not as intense as like that. A dewy day. A, oh, a dew a dew day. Yes, a dewy day in the yeah. morning. Yeah, Fre fresh morning. It is. Yeah, it's yeah. it's very crisp, um, light citrus. It is a little bit woody. You get a little bit herby elements. It is very, it's very foresty. It's, I'm a, it's actually really impressed. I'm actually with really that. impressed. <laughs> mm. Right, let's let's put some distillate in. Right, let's put. So some, far, it's good. Let's put some. Give it a, Little shake. Uh, let's put some little bit more of ant in if it wasn't anti enough already. <laughs> and how would you know if right. it's anti enough? Well, let's, if you, unless you let's, ants. let's put a few drops of these in. Well, that's a lot of drops. All right. Well, what do you want? Well, you normally moan. I don't give you enough. No, that's true. But I don't know how much antiness that is. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it's made made a difference. I can't say it's made no difference to the smell. I don't know, you know. I want, I, I want to say it has made I a don't, difference. I don't but... know if it has made a noticeable difference, but I like the idea of it. I think it's made it drier. Do you think with those few little drops? Yeah, I actually, I think unless it's just my throat going drier, I actually think that's that's made it's drier. It seems drier. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I. I I like the idea of it. I like the idea that you're putting even more alcohol in there and even more ants. Um, I'm not averse to ants now. I'm, I'm quite liking them. I'm, I'm going to look at them really this, differently this in the garden. This is 40% as yeah. well. So uh, Every time I see them in the garden now, I'm going to get thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for when we were doing this video. Obviously, I went online and I got these little ants and stuff. I'm going to put another two drops in. Um, and Oops. That's, not, that's not two drops. Can you not count? And I was going to—I was thinking of getting us some masks, some ant masks. But the only ants that were coming up was Ant McFarlane. And so <laughs> you've deviated quite yeah, far. Yeah, so I, I, I didn't do that. I'm, well, you had a couple more drops. I'm going to have—I'm going to have some more drops. Let's see. Let's give it. a... I really don't know. I—I I don't know. I don't know if it has. It's—it's it. it's very dry. Now it's very dry. For me, it's very dry. Um, it is quite citrusy. It's very nice though. It is, it's really it nice. Is, it is really, really nice. It actually really is nice. I'd like to know how much the ants contribute to that. Yeah. Right, well whilst he's, um, whilst he's well, rambling whilst I'm on. Whilst pondering that. Um, I'm, I'm going to do the other perfect oh. serve. So can you put me two lumps of ice in each I can please? indeed. Yeah, so we're going we're gonna to do the other one, which is with a nettle cordial. Um, so all the way we're, from we're, we're looking at 10 mil of this. Um, we're looking at a single measure of this and then a hundred of soda water. Um, and we used um, Navas tonic and we're using Nav Navas soda water as well. It's one of our faves. So, right, let me, go. You, cr you crack on. You, you talk to him about the right. So, yes, yeah, so. In. so I've got this one here. Oh, there was an ant on it. Um, yeah, so it's citrusy. It goes floral. Um, I mean, it's slightly herby, but it's, it's, Herby goes bananas. Yeah, it's more it's more citrusy and floral for me. Age, yeah. um, and it's nice and dry, which I like. Yeah. Um, yeah, I might try some of that uh, distillate what? on its own, so if we had another. Well, there you go. Well, you can just drop let, it from afar into your mouth. You can't miss it, it's really big. So, um, <laughs> don't get it everywhere. Can't believe in all of the health food Ooh. shops in Islington, 
that none of them had nettle cordial. I thought it was a basic. Oh, this is a really weird taste. Oh, I quite like this. See, I think it's a bit chocolatey. Really? I tell you what, if ants taste like chocolate, they're going to be an endangered species soon for me. <laughs> chocolate covered ants. My God, <coughs> they do, they do have them, don't they? They do. I've seen them. Um, yeah, they have. They do. In and sweets and things like that. Oh, I tell you what, that is tingling like you wouldn't believe. That's lovely. Let's move that over. Oh, I like that. Could you? I mean, could we, you we, can't, of this, we can't forget to score it as well. We need to remember to score oh, yeah. it. Oh, it, my mouth, my, it's sort of making my mouth go numb. Oh, I wish, oh, it, I, like that. I wish it'd shut you up. But so far, that's, a bit, that's so refreshing. Oh, refreshing. Yeah. Right, Come on, I'm, today. I'm just making sure that we get an even amount. Uh, oh. Right, there you go. I'll right. have this finish in a minute. Right, there's your stirrer. Now, this is their recommended serve. So it's soda water, it's the anti-gin, and it's with a nettle cordial, because obviously there is nettles in there as well. Do they recommend any of the distillates? Uh, they didn't say, but let's try it first without. Give it a swizzle. Yep. Let's try this. Doesn't smell as refreshing as that, but... Hmm. Oh, you could drink that all day. It tastes, it's, it's very diluted. Hmm. I think it's because we use the same amount of, of tonic like we did it with the soda water here, but I, I put a double measure of the gin in there. I think I need some distillate. Oh, here we yeah, go. Yeah, I need. Uh, we need to crack the distillate open. I'm going to put a few drops in. Here yeah, go. that. Give it a swizzle. Careful. Do you know how much that costs? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Right. Um, right. Let's give that a go. Well, that, has made uh, a that, that has made a difference. That has now that has made, definitely a difference. made a difference. That has definitely made a difference. I know it's definitely made a difference. That's actually a really pleasant summer drink. That is a nice drink. I think though, I think I prefer it as a GNT. Wow, you can really taste the bitterness when you go from that to that. Yeah. Right, let's give it a score. Let's this give is it, really let's give it a hard. score on the overall effect of it. Oh, and stuff. Yeah, like with the both, yeah, with the both drinks, because this is this is their recommended serve. So we've done that, and I like that. That's nice. Um, and then I did it with tonic, and I like it with tonic. So a lot of you don't like tonic. That's what we've noticing. So if you don't like tonic, perfect serve's great for you. Right. Yeah. I'm ready. Hold Are on. you ready? Yes. Yeah. Right. Go. Right, go. Yep. Easy ten. Easy ten. I, I scored it a 10 because I really liked it. And I, I know it's expensive, I know it's expensive, but they're pushing the boundaries there. And you know, apparently insects are the way forward for us sustainably to kind of eat protein and things. Um, and it's different and it, it's exciting that they're, they're doing things like this. Could you have got that citrusy element from citrus fruits? Yeah, I suppose you could, but it wouldn't have been exactly the same, you know. But it would it would be interesting to see just to take the uh, in, uh, the insects out of it and see what what gin that would have been like. Um, how much is added? Um, is it worth the price tag? That's that's your own opinion. It's really it's very expensive when when you're kind of looking at it, but. For a no, not an, even a novelty thing, for, for just a wow factor and for something different. The thing is, it's it, quite good. we've spent, on some of these the gins we have, right, we've spent up to four, 50 pounds and some of them have been diabolical, right? Absolutely yeah. not worth it. And, and more, and I the, mean, we've had ones that are more expensive. Yeah, than, and they've been terrible. Good. This is a good gin, mm. right? In our opinion, my opinion, definitely your opinion, this is a really good gin. It's versatile, it tastes really nice. This is the gin to have. Yeah, it's a little bit more pricey, but then you may end up getting a bottle that's rubbish and you've wasted that money anyway. And it's something different. I mean, it's it's not like gonna blow your head off with juniper, isn't it? It's like juniper, it's, but, it's lovely. but it's it's beautiful. It's light citrusy, it's woody, it's herby. It's kind of got this green freshness to it. I, I do I like, like it. it. I like the gimmick. Yeah. This is gonna be great. People people have been dying, that people that come over here and we, we have a couple of drinks with them, they've been dying for us to use this. This is a lovely little gimmick. It's a little, you know, mess around for us. 
Uh, yeah, and I think that does that make, it makes it, it definitely made a difference in it this. It definitely made a difference in this. I don't know if it did in this, but it definitely did in this. I'm going to say it did in mine. And, now, and now it's open. All, all our friends and, and family have been to our gin room and have said, when do you open that? You get to try it now. There, there you, you go. go. You get Stop to try moaning. It. Right, do your bits. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to take this one to cheers you. We'll Me see too. you next video. Cheers. Cheers. cheers.